Hello, Benjamin Beckley here of Vision Power Academy. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching this tutorial um, today. I appreciate every one of you that have subscribed to our channel and all your comment is deeply, deeply appreciated and valued. Now, today I'm going to show you how to live stream to uh, multiple platforms using StreamYard. Now, StreamYard is a very wonderful platform for broadcasting your live content. And the advantage of StreamYard is that you will be able to broadcast to multiple platforms. You can broadcast up to, uh, I believe, um, five platforms maximum at the same time, simultaneously. Now, let me show you some of the few features of um, StreamYard and then we'll be able to see with StreamYard, you you got they have a free version. The free version will give you access to be able to live stream to one platform, one platform. And then it comes with the watermark branding, which is just a very small um, um, logo. The 25 version, the $25 monthly, which is if you do the annual, comes with to 20, gives you um, unlimited stress streaming. You can put your logo, you can put your overlay, you can put your background, you can report, you can multi-stream to two platforms simultaneously. And uh, the $49 monthly plan will give you room to be able to do up to five platforms simultaneously. Now, the good thing about um, StreamYard is that the free version is also able to do most of the things that the uh, paid version can do only that you would only be able to broadcast to one platform at the same time. So if you are using YouTube, it must be YouTube. If it's Facebook, once at the same time. Now, the advantage is the fact that you can have text overlay. You can use a green screen to change your background. I'm going to show you some of them very soon. Um, you can also invite a guest, up to six guests at the same time. And then another thing, you can schedule a broadcast. You can schedule a broadcast. Yeah. So that is the advantage of StreamYard. Not only that, it also records and saves your broadcast in high definition format that you can download for later use. All right. So this is the interface. Once you sign in to the account, you will be able to get access to the free account in the comment in the description box. You will see the link that will give you access to the free account so you can set up a free account today and start you know taking advantage of these great features so once you sign in using your email they're going to send a code to the email for you to be able to log on and once you log on this is the interface you'll find here you'll find the broadcast and then you'll find a destination for you to be able to broadcast effectively, you need to add your destination to StreamYard. So you click on destination. These are all the destinations I've added. I don't use all of them, but I just I added them. I've probably used them at one time or the other. So you click on a desk, add a destination. You can choose between Facebook page, Facebook group, Facebook profile, Twitch, custom RTMP, um, LinkedIn, um, YouTube channel, or Periscope. So once you click on any of them, let's say Periscope, for instance, it will take you through the process of connecting. You log into your Periscope account. And then once you log in, you'll be able to connect your StreamYard to your Periscope. So we already authorized it. So if I click on authorize, it's going to link my Periscope to StreamYard. So Periscope is connected. So this is where you destination is where you add you see, this is my Periscope right now. Everything is connected. You can add a destination on Facebook page or Facebook group. So connect to Facebook. I've already added some pages. I'm just showing you how you go about it. So you select every page you have on your channel, on your platform, that you are the administrator. You will be able to add the page to your account. So I just added another Facebook page right now so destination once you have a destination the next thing you want to do is to create a broadcast now when you click on create a broadcast 
it will show you all the platforms that you have connected to your stream yard. So all these are Facebook pages, Facebook wall, and then Periscope, YouTube, LinkedIn, RTMP. Another good thing about um, StreamYard is that even if you don't want to go live, you can record. You can record whatever you are doing. So what you need to do is to select where you want to broadcast. Now, I have a plan, the highest plan, that gives me access to five platforms simultaneously so that is the reason why you could see many of these like that so i can select up to five i can select up to five platforms and once it is five it will tell me i have reached my limit so but if you are using the free version you are only able to select one platform only one platform if you are using the the second the the first paid version you can do two platform simultaneously simultaneously so I'm just going to choose one of it, just one platform. So the next thing it will ask you to do is to put the title. So I'm going to call this one title um, using stream. Yeah. So the title here is the title of your broadcast. Now, because this is Periscope, it's not asking me for description. But if it is YouTube or, or Facebook, it's going to ask you for description. Description is where you describe what the content is all about and if you want to schedule the broadcast for a later day you can check this box upload your thumbnail to show that you'll be coming live at a particular time and then you select the time you want to go live so this will go ahead and create an awareness or a banner on your youtube or facebook that you will be coming on board live at a particular time and the only challenge is that if you want to go live by a particular time, you cannot, um, five minutes after that time, you have to go live. In other words, if you pass five minutes, I believe, after that time, you won't be able to go live with that scheduled um, plan anymore. You will have to probably just go live directly. You know, that is um, one of the policies of Facebook. So this one i'm not going to do the script i'm not going to do schedule i'm just going to you know test it and then once you put on the information you click on that and then you click on create broadcast create broadcast so this will take you to the studio platform the broadcasting studio where you'll be able to do many things now i'm using a green wall so that's why you see this background showing on my screen now let me show you how to do that this is a mute button if you want to mute yourself stop camera if you just want to do an audio and then camera setting this is the audio setting you could see that we have audio then if you click on that you can change your camera whichever camera you want to use right now i'm using a webcam if i want to use the camera that is connected to my laptop i'll choose this you see the difference so you can choose the camera that you want to use as long as the computer can see the camera. The IS for this is 720, 720p, which is high definition. If you also want to choose your audio source, you can choose. If you want to use a green screen, you can put a green wall behind you, a green cloth behind you, and you'll be able to select um, uh, a background of your choice you know this is very this also works on the free version this is very wonderful very wonderful so all this i downloaded these images online so but it comes with by default with these two it comes by default with these two images so you can select the image you want online all right so let's go i'm done with my green wall you can use this to um choose your setting for the green wall and it also works with the green uh, with this blue wall also blue cloth you can use it to change your background so next thing to do is to put a display name that you want to show on the screen now this is the studio platform for Streamyard. you will find the interface like this what you need to do is to put into the stream so this is whatever is in this box is what will stream live on your broadcast so i'm going to put the screen the 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 stream there now all these functions differently this one is to make you full if you have a guest you will share the screen with your guest with this this also share the screen with your guest this share the screen with your guest 
this three one two three this one shares the screen with you now in other words you want to also share your screen you can share your screen on stream yard maybe you have a presentation or uh, or you want to play a video you can play a youtube video you can you can play a video on your computer i have a different video i have done on that you can check my videos i have a video on how you can use stream yard to share your screen a very comprehensive video so that will show you how to do that all right so these three helps you to share your screen uh, in from your computer so you can share your broadcast you can share your presentation all right so if you want to stop the camera you just want to do audio you can you know stop the camera you want to share your screen you click on it you have three ways to share your screen application window your entire screen application window or your chrome tab you can watch that video that i did on how to use this okay so the next thing is you can invite a guest if you want to invite a guest you can invite up to six six guests simultaneously so six people can be on the screen simultaneously and whatever is on the screen is what projects on your broadcast so for every um broadcast you create they will generate a unique link for you and that link is what you send to your guests for them to join now a guest can join the broadcast through their phone yeah a guest can join the broadcast through the phone they don't necessarily need to have a computer but you need to have a computer as the host to be able to do all of these things but if it's just a guest a guest can just click on this link send it to them you can send it by email you can copy and paste and then you can also send this instruction to the guest on how they can join the broadcast so StreamYard has made it very easy for people to be able to join the broadcast so there's an instruction for the guests to follow in case they need that so if i have the code i can send it to a guest up to six guests simultaneously will be able to join the broadcast so that is invite now here you will see all the platforms you are broadcasting to when you're ready to go live you just click on go live once you click on go live bam you will be live on whatever platform you have indicated here now this box is your comment box comment so on every platform where you are broadcasting as the people are dropping their comment it will be pumping up here in this box yes let me show you you can also send in a comment like a chat it will show here on this box now so the advantage here is that if you are broadcasting to six platforms i'm five platforms simultaneously you don't need to be going to each of them to see what did anybody say what is the comment no it will bring all the comments here you see like periscope this is the comment for periscope this is the comment for you to be said yeah, i must be live for periscope which is true so now the advantage again is that you can showcase the comment on the screen and then it will in turn show in the broadcast for instance let's assume this was one of the comment i'll just need to click on show it will show on the screen and remember anything showing here is what will show on the broadcast anything in this box is showing on the broadcast and if you want to take it off you hide it so those are the advantages of it so the comments will pump up here you can click to show and you can click to remove it all every platform all the comments will be in this box and if you want to also comment you can use this box that is the comment box there the banner is where you will be able to put in the um banner on the screen you can you can create banner let me let me show you a, a brand new one you can create folder for your banner so so that i will show you how to create banner so once you create a folder you click on create banner and then you can have a banner like that you can create i mean i believe as much banner as you want the banner um let's say log in and i want this one to be scrolling on the bottom so if i click on show this right there will be scrolling on the bottom because i chose to um check that box that says scroll on the bottom but for this i didn't choose that box so it's not going to scroll on the bottom it's just going to show live on the screen as a banner now that is how to do banner you can create banner as many banners as you want but they all will be down here or scrolling they can either be scrolling 
or they are just showing now if you want to change the color you go to brand under the brand you'll be able to change the color of what is showing on the screen on the back so i can choose black you can choose blue you can choose blue black you can make it light blue so you are just going to until you get the color you want so you can always change it in the midst of broadcast and you can change it ahead of your broadcast so that is the color if you want to change the way it shows here you can also change it to this this is minimum this is default so i prefer to use this default because it's bigger and looks more beautiful you can add your own logo if you are using the free version this logo will be showing this powered by Streamyard will be showing right there just like this but if you want to add your own logo you need to upgrade to the paid version so you can put in your own logo if you want to also have an overlay an overlay is like what will be like um, on top and behind let me show you the overlay that comes with it so this is the overlay you can design something like that to allow it show on the screen so like an overlay like an overlay so you can design it like this whatever you want and then it shows like this but i don't use this particular overlay so if i want to do an overlay i probably want to put something on the screen before i come on board so i have designed some few things that shows on the screen right before i come um, on board so that is my own overlay so if i want to remove it then my image will show so that is part of what you can do you can also come up with a background um in case this background will work better when you have a uh, um, guest on the screen so that will be like the back of what all the guests in inside all the guest boxes so and if you want to show the name display name that you filled up in the beginning you are lying but i don't allow the display name because i can always use banner to create names i can always use banner to create names now the next thing here is a private chat this is a place where you can chat with your guest that you are bringing on board the broadcast now the thing the good thing is that when you invite a guest and they click on the link they don't just show up inside your stream no they will be showing up under here just like this is showing you you see all the boxes here so you can choose which guest you want to allow on the stream part time you see once you click on it the guest comes once you click it out the guest goes out they will just be at the back end that's we call it the waiting room so that is an advantage that you have when you use stream here so that when any screen any, any guest cannot just bump into your screen you will always see them here before you allow them into the uh the stream all right so you can test this out download them and the good thing again you don't need to download anything it is a web-based software so Streamyard works with mac it works with um, windows um you if you want to be the host you have to have a computer but if you are a guest you can join by phone by um ipad and any other device yeah so you it works with laptop desktop all kinds of computer so once you know you were able to get a video input into it you are good to go well this is a pretty long video if you have any question drop it in the comment section i look forward to your question and if you think that okay this is a job well done Come on, just encourage, be a motivator, say something positive in the comment section. Watch out for the video. Go and watch the video on how you can do the screenshot, comprehensive way I showed you how you can do it, a step by step way on how you can do the uh, the share screen. Yeah, so you can watch the video how you can use StreamYard to share your screen effectively. Is in my in my uh, on my channel. That is a video tutorial I have done for that one so make sure you click on the subscribe button watch out for my next video on some of the other platforms that you can do live streaming absolutely free of charge. thank you for joining me today i appreciate your time and that is how you go live if you want to go live just click bam you are live i have dropped in the description box the link that will give you access to the free version uh, so click on it and then you can also try it out i look forward to your comment Thank you. Till I come your way again, I remain Benjamin Beckley of Vision Power Academy. Thank you for joining me today.